Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the products from Den Automation. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today on the video, we're going to be taking a look at some products from Den Automation. Now, Den is a London based company who have just come on the market with all these great smart featured products to control your home. Those of you that have watched the channel, you know that I love the smart home stuff, all the automation stuff, I really do enjoy it. But some elements of it I don't enjoy. Now, some of those being things like the light switches. Now, most of you who live in the UK will know that your wiring to your switches generally is a live and a switched live, so no neutral. Quite often you'll have an earth, but you can't really use that. Some people have done, but it's not really recommended. So to actually get a proper smart switch, which most of the people in the house can actually still use and function with, without it kind of causing you to have technical support grief from why is this switch not working or getting them to say, hey, keyword, turn the lights on, all that kind of stuff. It can be a real pain and trying to manage it isn't the easiest of things. So then I've come up with a super smart solution to this. Essentially, the smart plugs, smart switches, all work as a normal switch or plug is intended to. So there's a physical on off switch, which works as it would normally. So you press the button, turns it on, press the button again, turns it off. Really straightforward. But also the switches are mechanized. So if you trigger them from the app or from a voice command, the switches will physically move. Now this is something hey, which is for me really Turn great because I do love the smart switches, but quite often I walk into a room and it's far quicker for me just to flick a switch. But having said that, if I'm led down watching a movie or something and I want to turn a light on or off, again, it's a lot easier to do it from an app or just to shout out to the Google system, turn the lights off. So let's take a look at some of the things they do, how it all works and how it can work for you in your home. So the first thing we're going to look at is the actual, the brains behind all of this. This is the Den Smart Hub. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, not again, not another hub I've got to have in the house. Well, unfortunately, this is a necessity, much like the Hive system and other systems, you do have to have a central control unit. Now, these units do all have the ability to work on Wi-Fi and they also have their own internal mesh system. So when they are connected to the hub, even if your internet drops out, as long as your home Wi-Fi is still working or your home ethernet is still working, then you can still take control of all your switches and they will still update in the app to let you know whether they're on or off. Now, some of the other features, like controlling from whilst you're away from the house, obviously, if you've got no internet, that isn't going to work. But all the stuff internally is still going to update as it should. Anyway, let's get on and have a look at this smart hub and see what it's like. So in the packaging, we get a welcome package. So say hello to your smarter home. And inside this package is likely to be all of our instructions. OK, so we've got a let's get started leaflet and we've also got a safety and warranty leaflet. So let's take it. The let's get started. Now, this is all really straightforward and I have actually set up two of the devices already, including the smart hub on my home system just to try it out. But I wanted to go through the unboxing process so you see what you get in the box, uh, how it connects and how it can work for you, all that kind of stuff. I have connected up already one of the uh, smart light switches and I've also set up one of the uh, two gang sockets as well. So anyway, let's get started. Now, pretty much everything that is in this manual is actually reflected in the app. So if you want to look at the app and check it out for yourself, you can register it then, go to the iOS store or the Play Store, download the Den app, and then you can go through and look at the app and see what features it has. Obviously, you won't get full functionality until you actually have the kit itself, the devices, but you can have a look, have a nose around and see what you think of it. But anyway, to get started, it is really, really simple. So there is a full installation guide walking you through pretty much the whole process of setting up the hub and all that kind of stuff. Now, essentially, it is really, really simple. In the box, you get a USB type adapter, three pin plug, you get a ethernet cable, and you get a USB to barrel type connection. So if you've already got some sockets in your house maybe, and you've got USB uh, outputs on them, you don't have to use that if you don't want to, you can just plug it into a USB type connector and plug the barrel in. Same with the ethernet, the ethernet cable is quite a nice short cable. So ideally, this needs to be in and around your router or at least a uh, port somewhere in your house. If you've got ethernet ports dotted around the house, as long as you've got an ethernet port, 
that is all it needs. It doesn't necessarily need to be right next to your router, but it does need to have an ethernet connection. So also in the box, there is actually a couple of wall plugs and a couple of screws. So if you want to mount this to a wall, you can do. Now what I've done is actually put some Velcro on the back of it. So where my home hub and also all my other sort of automation hubs are, my switch, my router and all that kind of stuff, I've actually got it on a wall on Velcro. This is pretty lightweight, so it's not going to fall off. And also if you need to do any maintenance or you need to do an unboxing video, for instance, it's quite easy to just take it off the wall. Now, as you can see on the front, you've got four LEDs. So uh, there's a power, a home, a cloud, and a connectivity thing. So connectivity is when it's actually, I think that is the last one that comes on. So that's when you're actually connected through to the servers and onto the internet and all that kind of stuff. The power light is obviously pretty obvious, all that kind of stuff. But essentially, as long as you've got all four lights on there, this thing's working. On the front as well, there is a small triangular button, which is pretty much universal on all the DEM products. And you can press and hold that to do various setup functions, mostly for the initial synchronization. But I would imagine as well, it's probably going to be useful if you ever need to do a factory reset on any devices. I haven't actually read in the instructions, but I would imagine it's probably a case of pressing and holding it and it will do a factory reset. But again, don't quote me to that. That's just my assumption. I will check that out and possibly put it in the comments section below. Anyway, so that is the, the brains of the organization. So, so the next thing is what products are you going to add to your system? So for me, there's various options. Um, they've actually sent me the smart motion detector, the smart light switch, two of, the uh, DEN remote. So this is a remote control, so you can actually configure these and set these all up. So you don't necessarily have to have your smartphone or your uh, voice assistant in the same room. You can just have a remote, so maybe in the living room or wherever you are, just a handy remote which you can put to one side and you can click it as you would a normal remote and it'll turn the lights on or off and you can select which lights it does it on. So say for instance, you get the, uh, the remote and you're using it in one room, but then you think, oh, actually it'd be much better if we had that in the bedroom to turn the lights off at night. You can just go into the app and move it from one room to another and to control another circuit. The two gang socket, again, this is actually a really interesting feature of the DEN system. Now, I'll get into it more when we open it up, but there's a smart feature so that basically whatever you plug into it gets recognized using a smart tag. So say for instance, you've got this set up and maybe you've got a girl's or a lady's bedroom and you've got kind of hair dryer, uh, curling tongs, hair straighteners, whatever it may be, you can put a tag on each one of the plugs so the device will know exactly what appliance is actually plugged in. So you can actually turn off an appliance rather than turning off a switch or you can also track appliances. So if you've got the appliance set up, say for instance, again, it's the straighteners and they're plugged in somewhere else in the house, you can look on the app, scroll down through and see which socket or which room those are. So if like in the Mike's Unboxing household, um, your daughter takes your wife's straighteners, you'll know exactly where they're plugged in in your house. Obviously that is dependent on you having the DEN smart plug sockets installed in the rooms it is plugged into. Okay, so I suppose the first thing to do is let's have a look at some more of these products. So this is the plug socket, smart plug socket. And I've actually just literally done an installation on this in my uh, hallway. Now, there, there isn't any real reason why I've done it in the hallway, but for me, for filming purposes and also to get it set up, it was a lot easier. Now I've set it up with a small lamp, which I had by the side, just for testing purposes again, so I could see how it all worked and get a feel for it. I'm probably gonna end up putting these hidden away behind the TV, the media center in the front room, but obviously for filming purposes, that's not the greatest of things to do and it's not the easiest of access. So um, I did it in the video just to be a little bit more simple. Let's have a look, see what we get. So inside the box, you get some smart tags. Now the smart tags, these are very small little RFID type tags or NFC type tags, and you get four of them with the plug. And literally all you do, like you see on this already, they just go over the prongs and then that will identify this plug into one of the sockets. So that's the RFID or NFC type tags. You also get a set of slightly longer threaded screws. So if you've got a, uh, a wall box or back box for your socket and it's less than 30 mil deep, you will need a spacer, which is included. If you've got 35 mil back boxes, then you've got no problems at all. Um, there is a little bit of depth to these units, so you do need some clearance. So as you can see on the back of this packaging, there is actually a spacer. So that brings the back box out about 10 mil, 
just to give you a little bit more room. And if we go back to the socket again, so it's actually really nice plastic. It's got nice rounded edges and looks quite modern. And again, it's got the universal kind of den switch or logo at the bottom there, which you press and hold to set the device up or to possibly do a reset. And the switches themselves are mechanized again. So when you're using them in the app, they will flick themselves on and off, which I think is fantastic. It's really space age. And there's quite a satisfying click when they do it as well, which for some people might be a little bit on the noisy side, but for me, I actually like it because it's another audible, identical noise. So you know it's actually done what you've asked it to do. So say for instance, you've got a heater, an electric heater, and you've got it turned on and you say, hey, such and such, turn off the heater. You'll hear the click. Now, you probably won't get the right idea of how it sounds here, but it's quite a, quite a satisfying click. And again, on the two gang, both of the, uh, both of the switches are mechanized. Obviously, single gang socket, just one's one switch and that is mechanized also. Connectivity on the back, so you've got a port for your neutral, you've got two earths and a live, so you do actually need an earth to install these. If for some reason you don't have an earth at your socket, you won't be able to use these. It does require a, uh, a loop feedback for the earth. So again, four, so four connections all in one side. Uh, for me, actually, that was slightly problematic because I did find that my earth wire in my socket or back box was on the kind of opposite side of where that had to go, so it had to stretch across. Um, would be nice if there was actually a slightly longer earth cable included in the box, which it doesn't appear to be. Um, but I do remember seeing one somewhere in possibly one of the switches, so maybe that's something that Den could update and actually add those to these in future. So there we go, there is the smart socket. Again, really simple to install. Literally, it's a plug and play replacement pretty much of your existing wall sockets. So next, let's take a look at the uh, smart light switch. Now this actually probably, sadly, is my favorite product of the range. This has made my home automation life a lot simpler. In the living room, as you walk in the door, immediately on your left-hand side is a wall switch. So in some instances, and for speed and what have you, it's a lot easier just to flick a switch. But again, with my Hive system, which I've had in there previously, with the Hive smart bulbs, if you walk in there, if you turn the switch on, it's great, it turns the light off. But if you turn the switch off, you can't then remotely turn the light back on. Or if you use a voice command, because the switch is dead, the light is dead, so you don't get anything from it. And you get that annoying notification from your home assistant saying, sorry, I cannot control that device, which is really, really annoying. So this takes the guesswork out of it. So again, the same deal. So essentially the same as the one gang socket. There is a little bit of depth to it. So again, if you've got a less than 30 mil depth clearance on your socket, you will need to use the spacer shim, which is included, which brings you out about 10 millimeters. And yes, that is where I've seen it. So in this one, you actually got a, a earth wire, an additional earth wire, should you need it. Um, it would have been nice to have had that in the, uh, the other sockets as well, but I suppose I didn't use it for the other light switch, so I could have used it for those. Again, earth wires are pretty easy to get hold of, but again, would have been nice to have it in the box. So essentially the same deal on here is marked up front and back, so you know which way it goes on the wall, and that goes around like that, and brings it out from the wall slightly. On the back, the connectivity, there you've got your L1, L2, and uh, your live and your earth. So if you're a two-way switch, I think I'm not an expression, so I may be wrong on this, but if you've got a two-way switch, uh, you can wire up the L2 and the L1. Obviously, do get a trained professional uh, or certified electrician to do this if you're in any way unsure of what you're doing. But essentially, uh, for me, when I was doing it, all I had was the Earth, the Live, and the L1. So again, depending on your wiring, in my switch box, there was a black cable with a red sleeve on it. There was a red cable and the Earth. So the uh, black cable is the L1, the red cable was the live, and the dearth was the obviously the sleeved green and yellow one. So again, it's all pretty, pretty self-explanatory. There's loads of information in the booklets, also on the site, and the actual app as well will help you through it as well. And again, with these switches, you've got that really nice reassuring clunk. So when you're using it as a normal switch, you've got that nice tactile feel. And again, when you use it on a voice control or you use it as a um, automated device, you can still hear that clunk and the switch is mechanized so it will move. So for me, this is fantastic. Again, you've got the DEN logo type uh, button on the bottom for setup. 
So you press and hold it for six seconds and it starts flashing and then the Den app will find it and add it to your home system. It's really, really straightforward and easy to use. So that's the, uh, the main kind of the guts of the system out of the way. So we've had the control unit, we've had the two gang wall socket and also we've had the light switch. So next let's look at some of the kind of accessories that can go with your system just again to make life a little bit easier or to allow you to customize the system more to your liking. The, this is the Den remote. So this works in a very similar way to any remote control you've ever used before. Very simple to set up and again in the box we get the same sort of stuff. Hello to your smart, smarter home etc etc. So nice to see and actually in here we get some Duracell batteries and not often you see Duracell batteries in uh, in kits these days so nothing else underneath there so the remote control itself again pretty tactile in actually the same plastic finish as pretty much all the rest of the kit from what i can tell apart from the power pack all of it has got this kind of uh, satin matte white finish and the button itself you've got a on button and an off button again pretty simple and straightforward so again as with all the other den products there's the little DEN logo there, which you just depress for uh, six seconds and wait until the system finds the device itself and adds it to your kit. You also get in here a kind of uh, a magnetic but self-adhesive a tag, I suppose you'd call that. So you can mount that where you want to. There is a magnet in there, there's a magnet in there. So you can attach that. So maybe if you've got some automation set up and you don't actually want a wall switch on the wall, you can just go with that and then obviously take it off the wall, take it with you if you're sat down on the sofa or you're reading or whatever and you want to turn a lamp on or off. Basically, it's a remote control. You can use it to remotely control your lights. Again, if for some reason you decide, well, actually, I've got it in the living room set up for my lights there, but actually it'd be quite handy to have this in the bedroom so I can just turn off the lights while I'm going to sleep. You can just move it from one room to another nice flexible system and it does integrate really nicely with the google home system as well so as you move a device from a room in the app it moves it from the device in the google home as well so you don't have to worry too much about the configuration once it's done it's done but if you do want to move it you can move devices around pretty much wherever you want give them nicknames all that kind of stuff so there is the smart remote uh, again for some people possibly not a uh, a worthy addition to the system but again all these home automation systems and all the setups from all the feedback i get from you everyone tries to do something a little bit different yeah there's some people just want a switch that turns on and off but there's some people out there who want to really go to town and have a quite a complex setup so all these little accessories all help to uh, achieve that so the last one is the smart motion sensor now this is actually it's kind of interesting me to what I can actually achieve with this system. Now, in the perfect world, I would love for this to be able to be waterproof and to have it outside to turn on a PIR light. I don't think I can do that. I don't think this is going to be uh, able to withstand the elements. But possibly what I could do is actually have it just on the inside of the glass in the kitchen so that if it detects any movement outside, then it will trigger a PIR light which is something I'm working on possibly with a two gang switch in the kitchen. But again, we might come back to that at a later date, but that would be an ideal situation for me. Again, inside you get this, the usual magnetic adhesive tag. So if you want to, you can just mount it on a wall or a ceiling or wherever you want, just attach it to anything. But if you don't want to do that, there is also as well, this nice magnetic stand and also has a rubberized base as well. So you can put that maybe if you've got a child's bedroom and you want to set it up on maybe a shelf so that if your child wakes in the night, you can set it so it automatically turns on a side lamp or maybe the main lights or whatever it may be. Essentially, the only limitation of this is your imagination and how far you're willing to go with your home automation. Um, at the moment, it doesn't seem to integrate with IFTTT, -T, which is, uh, from what I can tell is a work in progress. Also the Apple Home Kit, at the moment they are working on that. That is their kind of active project at the moment. Uh, but you have got full integration with the uh, Alexa system and also the Google Home system. So if you're already trying to sort of expand those ecosystems, then you can do. Um, it gets on well with other devices. The Wi-Fi, which is actually in these devices, which kind of creates its own mesh network, 
is on a different scale or band than things like Zigbee, although it's a similar process, so uh, it won't interoperate with Zigbee and things like that, but it also won't interfere with it at the same time. But they do say with the, uh, the mesh, ideally you want to have the sockets uh, or devices within a kind of 15 meter range of each other to extend the range. But in most houses, especially here in the UK, if you've got a, a 15 meter long hallway, um, you're pretty lucky and chances are you've got a servant to turn your lights on and off rather than doing it yourself. So that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the kind of the quick overview, well, it wasn't really a quick overview, but an overview of the DEN home automation equipment. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Personally, I think it's a fantastic idea. The only downside, which I can see at the moment, which uh, as a consumer is pricing. At the moment, the pricing for me seems a little on the high side in comparison with other devices, but other devices don't have the same features. So if you are purely a budget-minded person trying to do home automation, then some of the cheaper kind of uh, Chinese or whatever, those kind of devices might be better for you and to keep the cost down. But if you want a integrated system with the motorized switches, which for me is the kind of seals the deal, then you are gonna to have to pay a little bit more. Uh, essentially, the dual socket, you're looking in the region of about 60 to 70 pounds on Amazon. The switch itself, the light switch, the motorized switch, you're looking in the region of 30 to 40 pounds. And the other devices, such as the smart motion sensor, you're looking at 30 to 35 pounds. So by all means, not a cheap product. And if you're gonna kit out your entire home in one go, um, it is gonna be moderately expensive. But having said that, then have got some kits on their site. So if you wanna buy a home starter kit, they've put some packages together um, and reduced the price slightly. So if you are looking at doing this, buy a kit and save a little bit of money. Uh, but yeah, for me, unfortunately, that is the only thing I can see at the moment, which would possibly prevent people from going to town on this and having their entire house covered in these sockets and switches. Um, if hopefully they can gain a little bit more traction in the market and the economies of scale kick in, if these can come down even five, 10 pounds per device, I think these are gonna be an absolute winner. But again, let me know in the comments what you think of these devices. I personally think they're great. Um, hopefully they're gonna have a really good future ahead of them. The app's really good, the switches are very good. They feel like a very good quality and hopefully they will last the test of time. So there we go, we've had a look through some of the products from Den Automation. Uh, hopefully you like the ideas and hopefully you like the products. And if you do, you feel free to check out the links in the description below. They will be affiliate links. So a very small commission comes from Amazon my way if you do purchase anything and it all helps to keep the channel going. Obviously you can also buy these things directly from Den if you wish to. Uh, contact details for them again will be in the description below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This has been the Den Automation Kit and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.